Welcome to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be setting up a streamer node on a VPS. This video has been updated to include all the new steps, including staking with your own wallet's public address. We're going to be installing this node on Vulture VPS. They have a lot of servers around the load and it's a very low cost solution, but it's not the only one. I've linked other VPS servers and guides in the description below. To set this node up, you're going to want to make sure you have the minimum requirements met. It is going to be one CPU core, 512 megs of RAM, about 500 gigs or greater of bandwidth, one public IP address. Now, if you're going to be setting up more than one node, you can set up five streamer nodes on one public IP address. You just need to make sure that you increase your RAM and CPUs to accommodate that. To maximize your return on your investment, streamer is now allowing you to increase the stake amount from 10,000 data tokens to 20,000 data tokens. This will be enough to cover the cost of running your node as well as grow your wallet. Your tokens are never locked up. You always have access to them and you can unstake them at any time. If you have any follow-up questions, I'll make sure I leave all the details Details about streamer their discord Twitter and everything else you might in the description below so with all that information out of the way let's go ahead and set up our streamer node so we're about to get started and install a streamer node using the Vulture service. The first thing that I wanna make sure that you have already set up is the MetaMask wallet. So we have MetaMask already up here and I have it on the Polygon network. And as you can see, I have some data tokens. If you haven't bought any data tokens or you haven't earned any data tokens, I made a video for that. You can go ahead and purchase some and then send it to your MetaMask wallet. We're gonna go ahead and create an account. So you just click on create free account. If you already have an account with Vulture, you can go ahead and sign in, which I'll do right now. Okay. and I just signed in. I already have one service up and running. This is a pre-search node. What I'm going to be doing right now is we're going to be setting up a, a new service. Now you can use an existing service if you have enough RAM and enough CPU cores. I'm going to start from scratch in this example, just so you can understand what we're doing here. We're going to click on the plus sign right up here at the top, and we're going to click on deploy a new server. And now we have to choose the type of server that we're going to be selecting. Out of the options up here, we don't need very much. It doesn't require too much. So we can go ahead and use this cloud compute shared CPU. And we can scroll down a little bit over here. We don't need any of the high performance performance one. So we can go ahead and use a regular performance Intel CPU and we'll scroll down a little bit more. And this is where you're going to want to select the location. You can select any location that works for you. We'll scroll down a little bit further. And what we want to do now is select the operating system to set up this streamer node. We're going to be using Ubuntu and we'll be using 20.04 and then we'll scroll down a little bit further over here. And for disk size, the 25 gig SSD will do us just fine. It also comes with one virtual CPU, one gig of memory and one terabyte of bandwidth. That is going to be more than what we need. You can see that's only $5 a month. We'll scroll down a little bit further over here. If you want to save some money, you can turn off the auto backups. If you want the, everything to be backed up regularly, you can turn that on. That costs a dollar and uh, we'll leave the rest of the features as is. If you want to go ahead and create some SSH keys to log into your server, that just adds a nice layer of security. And then you can provide a name and a label for your host. Uh, you can see the total that we have over here is $5 a month. And once you have all that done, you can go ahead and click on deploy now. And the main thing that we're going to be looking for over here is going to be your IP address. And we're also going to be looking for your username and password. The username is always going to be root. The password is going to be unique to you. So you make sure that you keep that to yourself. And what we're going to be doing to log in is we're going to be using Putty. It's a free tool that you can download. I'll make sure I link that in the description. Okay. And I have my Putty right over here. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is copying my IP address and I'm going to paste it in over here. We're going to be leaving the port as 22, which is default. And the connection type is going to be SSH default as well. And then you can go ahead and click on open. If you get any security prompts, you want to allow access and then you'll get this terminal window that we have opened up over here. And the username that we're going to be typing in is going to be root. That's going to be default. Now you're going to want to type in a password and that is going to be the one that's assigned to you. Just have to click on copy right over here and then select this and then right click on the screen. It won't show up, but it's there. If you hit enter, it'll log you in. And there we go. So now we're logged in. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this up so you can see it properly. And I'm going to minimize my vulture window because we won't need it for a bit. And now we're going to run some commands. All right. So I have my terminal window over here. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating a directory. This is going to be the command to create a directory. I'm just going to paste it in. You'll notice that there's a number one at the end. We're creating a directory streamer docker one because you can have up to five nodes and you just have to increase it by one increment if you're going to be adding multiple nodes per IP address. So go ahead and hit enter. Now that folder has been created. The next thing we want to do is change the permissions. And that's what this line is going to do. And we'll paste it in, hit enter, and that's done. And now we want to run the configuration wizard. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this line and go back over here, paste it in, 
and hit enter. All right, so we're the first question in the wizard is if we want to import or generate a new private key, we're going to generate that. We'll go ahead and hit enter. And it's just letting us know that you want to make sure that you have this private key stored somewhere safe. Uh, it's unique to you. So we'll say yes to this. And here is our private key. I'm just going to highlight that, copy it. Okay. And I have that saved. So back over here, I can go ahead and hit enter. And now it's asking if we want to participate in mining and staking. I'm going to say yes to that and then hit enter. And it's giving us the default path for the configuration file. So that looks good. We'll go ahead and hit enter again. And that's done. We have this link right over here. You can go ahead and paste it into your browser if you want to see the stats for your node. We're not done yet. We still need to make a change to the configuration file. So that is this next line. I'm going to be copying that and I'm going to paste it in here and hit enter. And here is the configuration file. It has our private key that we have just recently saved. If you need to refer to that later, it's right over here. What we want to do is go down here into the plugin section under Brubic Miner. And in between these two brackets, we're going to hit enter a couple times. So now we have some space in here. I'm going to tab over just so we're in line. And what we're going to be doing is putting in this beneficiary address. You want to make sure that you copy the quotations as well as the colon. And then you can copy that. And then back over here, we're going to paste it in. And then we're going to put in a space and then a quote. And now what we're going to be putting in is our MetaMask wallet address. So I'm going to open up my browser and inside MetaMask, I'm going to take my wallet address. I'm going to copy that by clicking on this and then back into the window here. I'm going to paste it in. You can see that the text is white. What you want to do is make sure you end it with a quotation and it changes color like that. And that's to confirm everything's correct. Any data tokens that we have in this wallet will now be staked against this node. So we're good with that. We're going to go ahead and write the changes. So control O and it's giving us the same path for the configuration file. We can go ahead and hit enter and now we'll hit control X to exit out. So we have our node set up. The last step is to run our node. And that is the last line that we have right over here. So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go back in here and paste it in and then hit enter. So I'm going to highlight this link over here. I'm going to go into my browser and I'm going to paste it in there. If you're finding this video useful, if you can do me a favor and hit that like button, it helps me grow the channel and I greatly appreciate it. Okay. And it's going to load up. If you just actually take, if it doesn't load up right away, you can just take the address from up here and paste it in the search. Okay. So here is my node and go ahead and click on that. On this website, you'll get some live statistical information and you can see up over here, it lets you know how many nodes are online. So we have 5,712 nodes. The API is currently at 34%. So it's coming down because there's more nodes online and this number will adjust as this one rises and total lock value is a little bit over 65 million data tokens. I'm going to be going over to the website, perfect scan dot app. And on this website, you can get some stats about your node. I just have to take your wallet address and copy that. I'll paste it in here and you can search and it'll pull up all your node stats. My node is online right now. It says okay for online. You'll see KO in red if it's offline. It came online 11 minutes ago. It has my address and it tells me how much tokens I have staked as well as rewards to be received. So I've been using this wallet address over the last couple of days. Uh, that's why I have a balance already, uh, but your balance will accumulate and you can check out all your statistics right over here. Uh, like I had stated earlier, you can stake up to 20,000 data tokens to maximize your return. It lets you know how many rewards that you'll be receiving and then when it's been claimed. Uh, and we can see over here at the top that its status is okay. That means we're good to go. We're online and that's how you do it. That's how you set up the streamer node running on a VPS. We're using Vulture VPS service. I'll make sure I link everything in the description below. I don't have my own discord server, but I'm on the sleep money club discord server. and one of the YouTubers over there. If you want to check out the discord server over there, we're looking at this as well as other utility nodes that you can make a decent return in this bear market. So you can check out that. I'll make sure I link that in the description below. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. If you found this video useful, please smash that like button. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.